Okay, um, I finally got around to making a cross guide, so uh, let's get started. The main requirement is 70 Slayer, uh, obviously. And these crests, uh, they're a lot like the Turoth, um, where you have to kill them with like a leaf bladed sword, spear, broad bolts, broad arrows, or slayer dart. Um, and the, the main two ways of killing them are with broad bolts, which I'll show you, and with a leaf bladed spear. Those are the two best ways. Um, they're also in two different locations. One is in the Relic of Slayer dungeon or cave, uh, and you can actually safe spot them there. Um, and the other is in the Palm Beach dungeon, which uh, uh, Slayer Helm is highly recommended, but it's usually a lot less crowded. Um, they're 107 combat, and they've got some weird drops. Like, uh, they drop, like, bananas and, like, pineapples and, like, pizzas. But they also drop Kurask Head, uh, rune items, like a rune 2H, um, a leaf bladed sword, which is, uh, like, 50k, white mystic top, um, and level 3 clues. So, they're not exactly the best for drops, but they're pretty good Slayer XP. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so if you were going to melee uh, the Karasks, uh, this is the recommended uh, basic outfit you should have. You really need that leaf blade sword. Um, you could replace it with a leaf blade spear, although you won't kill them as fast, not nearly as fast. Um, the rest of it is pretty much the normal melee, meleeing tasks outfit just have good defense um and torso if you could replace it with bandos or anything with a strength bonus you can it's all it's not the gear is not that important for uh killing turk caress because they won't hit that often i think their max is like an 11 uh so you really need to worry about that okay uh for the inventory if you're meleeing um i recommend this sort of setup you could bring more or less uh food if you wanted uh, you could use bunyips or unicorns if you wanted, uh, if you wanted to. Although I don't, I'm not gonna need to heal that much. Uh, this, whoa, <laughs> this is an enhanced Excalibur. Uh, it basically it heals you anywhere from 13 to 20 HP and raises your defense level anywhere from 13 to 20 levels, uh, and it uses your spec bar. So that's really helpful because the uh, leaf bladed sword doesn't have spec. Um, obviously the charms, charm placeholders. Um, I always bring money. This is just my normal setup, like usual. Um, the difference from the other videos, um, I use Karamja gloves now because I finally finished the achievement diary for uh, Karamja. Uh, but you could just use house teleport tabs uh, if you have a uh, RD teleport in your house. And that way you can be stuck on prayer. Um, this knife, like I was saying earlier, crass drop pineapples, and you can actually cut up the pineapples and use them for some extra food if you really need it. Uh, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Okay, like I said, there are two places where you can actually kill um, Karask. Um, the first place is the Palinum Niche Slayer Dungeon. Um, this is uh, where melee is recommended and a Slayer Helm is recommended because you need to, uh, you need to have um, a Dust Mask on at all times while you're killing him. So the Slayer Helmet will offer uh, a bonus attack and strength bonus uh, because you can't wear a Black Mask down here. So basically, the two ways you can get here is you can have, I have my house in Palm Beach. Um, you can also go to the St. Chansey Pass and take a carpet ride from uh, this place right here to Palm Beach. And then you just walk in the center of town, go down here. Um, and then you arrive in here, down here. Um, basically, this is where you'll arrive once you go down the well. If you walk up here, there'll be a bunch of mighty banshees. Um, this, you want to go through this barrier right here, and then go down this ladder. Um, that ladder will bring you out right here, and that's where you're going to want to walk through here, and then kill the Karask. Um, it's real, the one thing is, the first time you go in here, um, you have to kill this thing called a like, Karask Overlord, which is like a really hard version of a Karask. Um, yeah, your best bet is to look up a guide on how to kill it. Uh, it's it's not that hard. Uh, you can you can actually go through and kill the bosses for all four of these monsters uh, in one run. Um, and there are guides out there to do it. I might make a guide on it at some point. But yeah, and you can set up a cannon in there or uh, whatever you want. Um, this is the melee method. Uh, sorry, I'm lagging a bit right now. But uh, basically, I'm in the Paul Nimney Slayer Dungeon um, in the northwest corner on the uh, second on the uh, lower level, and there's about 
10 Karasks in here. Um, it's real nice because you can actually set up a cannon in, in here. Um, and it's usually, usually no one comes down here at all. So you can get the task done really fast um, in comparison to the uh, Slayer Cave. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy actually. Right now I'm just keeping auto retaliate on and uh, killing him like that. Uh, you won't really have to heal much. Like I said, they don't hit much, especially if you have pretty good armor. Uh, so yeah. Alright, this is the gear you'll need if you're going to be doing uh, Karaskas ranging them. Uh, you can also use Void, uh, Range Armor, if you want to hit more. I just like using Curls. Um, you can replace a lot of this, just you want Range Bonus and uh, you need you need uh, broad tip bolts up here. You could also use a uh, you could also use broad arrows, but they don't hit as much and they uh, are a lot slower and they're actually a lot more expensive. So broad bolts are definitely the way to go uh, for this method. Okay, uh, this is the basic inventory for range. It's a lot. It's very similar to the melee inventory. The only difference is you don't need to bring bunyips because you're not going to be getting hit that much. So you can bring range potions instead, um, and the, and it's identical besides that, except you want to bring, because we're going to be safe spotting in the Slayer Cave, uh, you, the, one of the quickest ways to get there is uh, through Fairy Rings, so I'm going to bring a Draman Staff to uh, get there through Fairy Ring. Alright, to get to the Relic of Slayer Cave, um, which is right up here, that dungeon entrance, uh, there are a few ways you can do it. One is... Uh, one is teleporting with the Slayer Ring. Obviously, that'll take you right to uh, right outside the Slayer Cave. The other is you can take a Fairy Ring, um, which is usually what I do, to right there, um, which is short walk. Um, and the third way um, is walking from Camelot, the Camelot Teleport, which is ends up right about here, and you just take this path across there, where you can take the shortcut. Um, and once you get inside here, uh, make sure not to attack anything. Uh, because the cockatrices and the basilisks, you need a mirror shield, and if you attack them and you're not wearing a mirror shield, they'll drain your stats a lot. So be careful when you're you, I mean, you can walk through there, no problem, they're not aggressive, but uh, make sure not to click any of them. Um, that shortcut, I think you need 81. That shortcut, I think you need like 60-something. I'm not positive on that, though. Um, and then you just basically walk to the end of this dungeon, like a little maze, uh, and the crest right at the end. Uh, some of the safe spots, you can stand right here and range them inside. You can stand right there with the rocks and range them over there. Um, and there's, I mean, I, you can't even count all the safe spots that are in there. So, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, this is just one of the uh, safe spots that there are in this room. There's like 20. Um, but really, it's just as easy as this. Uh, if you do it right, you should never get hit. Um, and even if you do get hit, it's going to be like a 5 max. Um... I guess 11 max, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, it's just pretty easy like this. Uh, I killed a few already. I got like four bananas. Their drops aren't that good, but it's not bad XP. <laughs> Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. I'll probably be doing a Slayer Helm guide. I'll make that soon. And uh, if you ever want a guide done, just uh, leave a comment or message me on YouTube. Uh, and I'll, s I'll see what I can do. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. Peace out. The ladies in the disco club ain't the ones to be falling in love with. The ladies in the disco club ain't the ones to be falling in love with. Play a lesson, yeah, I'm a missin. I go to clubs and I sip on prison. I don't mean I'm like the rest of them tricks in the party getting naughty, she's the money and dicks in. No, you got me all wrong, brother. No.